Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation League. With us today is Tim Miller from White Pigeon, Michigan. Tim has signed up in Beck's 300 bushel challenge program. Tim, it's been about a month or so since we've been here. I think the corn was about uh, V5 or so. Corn looked really good last time we were here. Tell me about the conditions you've got here today. Um, we had, in the month of June, we had 12 and a half inches of rain. Um, not as much as some, but we definitely had enough rain. Um, we've been trying to keep up with applying nitrogen. That's a big deal this year for us on the sand. Yep. So when we talked earlier about your nitrogen program, you, your intention was for the 300 bushel plan was to apply around 200 pounds of nitrogen. How has the plan changed given the amount of rainfall you've had? We, um, we definitely got to increase it. Um, right now I'm ready to chemigate on another um, 10 gallons, which we apply Shuran, which is sulfur added to the, the 28. All my applications have um, sulfur in it. Um, we're going to put another 10 gallons on, which should give me about 30 pounds additional, and it'll put the final number up about 235. So the, re the reason you decided to put more nitrogen on, you pulled some plants out in the field and you kind of use it as a scouting gauge, right? So sh show the viewers yeah. what we're seeing out in the field as far as ni nitrogen loss. On the sand, we will tip back on, we will discolor on the bottom leaves for nitrogen loss. And as you can see, it works its way up couple years ago, um, we, I had this going on in my field and I did nothing about it. I just kind of waited it out, shot the ears under the stress, and I found out that's a sure way to make 180 bushel corn. And so we don't do that anymore. What we do is when I start seeing this and scout my fields, we start looking to put some more in down. So, and so you'll spin the irrigation pivot, you'll put on what, <clears throat> about a quarter inch of rain or so? I'll put on about two tenths and we'll drop in about 10 gallons going as fast as we can across it. We're really wet right now, so you know, it don't need no more water, but I got to get the end on. And so, um, you know, in a good dry day, if the sun comes out, this thing will absorb two tenths, no problem. So, how long will it take you to have that pivot go around one full time? Oh, about nine and a half hours. This is a 110 acre field. It's about nine and a half hours. So, okay. So, as we're scouting through the the cornfield, we're seeing some differences in in the nitrogen that, that Tim was talking about. He also mentioned he's going to put some sulfur in with his nitrogen. We are seeing some sulfur deficiency out here as well. One of the mobile nutrients out here in the field and with the amount of rainfall we've had it's not surprising that we're, we're seeing some of that so recommendation is definitely more nitrogen a little bit of sulfur and i think we we're, we're setting the stage for some really nice yields out here so be sure to check back in with us as we come back and we do some yield checks before harvest and we'll, we'll see what this crop looks like hopefully we'll be able to achieve that 300 bushel yield level in the meantime this has been jason webster beck cybers practical farm research innovation lead following tim miller's personal journey to 300 bushel